and welcome to part two of the Over the Rainbow version of the Macro Daisy. Um, this is a tutorial by Yarn Journey, but it's not her own design, I believe. I believe. I'm not sure. I think someone from Instagram might have posted it and she got it or something. And, yeah, just ignore the noise back there. So this is what the Macro Daisy looks like, and we are almost done. Then today, um, we'll be gluing our macro daisies onto hair clips with our hot glue gun that is fully loaded hot glue gun sticks. I prefer using clear because it really just, you know, lets it on. But let's get started without any more interruptions or materials lists and stuff. Let me just adjust my camera. Okay, guys, so we're back. And what we're going to do now is super tricky, and I do not advise jumping ahead until you have this. So what you're going to do is you're going to see this top one here, this top band, you're going to actually pull this kind of back. You're going to make sure it's separated from these three here, this, these three purple, just like that. And you're going to go in and you're going to take them all, you're going to pull them off, just like this. Then you're going to do this crazy hook maneuver, this, and then you're going to turn it. And you're going to pull those other ones off, and you're going to have that one. You're going to untangle it and hook it right there. And I know it's a lot to take in. I did not get that so easy as you think. Um, so let's just try that again up here. It's crazy, I know. So separate those three if you're not doing it you know, by yourself in your room, like I am, so I'm just going to pull this up and over, and then you're going to kind of do that strange hook maneuver where you kind of pull that in, you're going to make sure everything that's purple goes down here, and then you're going to move the inner blossom, I guess, up and over right onto there. This is the most important part of the entire thing. Um, it makes the flower and petals, and that is super important. So keep going. So here, you're going to go in, find those three, no, four bottom bands, and then you're going to pull them up and over, eh, making sure you've got all of them. One second, let me fix this. Then you're going to stick your hook in, making sure this pink band or your inner flower it's at the very tippity top, and you're going to do that strange hook ma maneuver where you just kind of hook, and then you kind of make sure everything else falls over it, and you're left with that one band, and you're just going to place it up and over just like that, and you're going to push down here. It's safe to push down there. And you're going to turn around and keep doing it, so I'm devoting all my time to making this beautiful, so... Just think about, on this process, the end, okay? This is really hard, so um, once you have them off, I know it's kind of hard to see, there's a bit of a glare, but you're just going to fold over on that one band, untwist, and then place that right there. Let's do this middle one here, so we're going to make sure that band is right there, and we're going to go inside that top band, pulling them all off, do that strange deed hook maneuver thingy, making sure that pink band or your inner flower color, oops, sorry, I'm off frame, is off completely, and then you're just going to hook that over right there and push down. Now we have one more to do. Seriously, it does not take long at all. So, once you got the hang of it, uh, I'm just going to do this one off camera real quick. Okay, so once you're done with that, which is super cool, you're just going to take the color that you just want to thread everything onto. This would probably be your green part, I guess. These would be your green part, too. I don't know. And you're just going to not hook everything on yet. Uh, you're going to flip it over, actually, and you're going to notice that there's these strange things. So let's create the petals. It's really hard to do this 
once you're done so you can't really skip this part and you're just going to find those three petal links and you're just going to pull them a bit together so they don't you know fall out and stuff the middle ones are seriously hard so you just gotta go in get them eh try to avoid the bands that you're not supposed to get but it's kind of hard to not do that so we'll just keep pulling just like that then go in and pull here oh sorry my hair is in the way here here and then you're gonna pull once more right in here just like that so now we're gonna flip it over and put those two on top once twice yarn journey says fold them over in order but it really doesn't matter so one two bring them up and over turn your loom around one two up and over one two up and over one two up and over so now comes the easiest part of the entire thing you're just going to take them up and you're going to put them on that center one right here you do that to both of them on those center pegs and then you're going to stick your hook in the canals of each of those pins and you're just going to take it like that and then we're going to be doing a slip knot and making the flower wonderful. So then you just go ahead and tie a slip knot by threading those over one single band. And if you don't know how to tie a slip knot, you're going to pull this back one over the top one, always. And then just pull like that, really tight, and get a good knot because we're going to be huggling those. And then, voila, I just tugged mine a little bit while I was off camera. It makes it really pretty. So, yeah. Now we're going to be moving on to the next part. So I forgot to say this. But you will be needing scissors. Snap, snap. So you're just going to snip off most of the tail of your loom thingy. And so then you're going to heat up your hot glue gun. So I'm going to go off camera and do that real quick. While your hot glue gun is heating up, make sure it's somewhere that it can't really... Uh, burn stuff onto I guess you could say. Just keep it a place where it won't bleed. Okay guys so I know I'm ending this a little bit short but um, I'll see you in part three of this video. I'm sorry it had to come to this but it did. Stupid ten minute segments. Meh. But happy Halloween to you guys and I'll see you in part three.